Welcome to the Maine Department of Education's presentation on the Summer Food Service Program's Performance Standards and Management Plan, presented by the Child Nutrition Team. In order to operate the Summer Food Service Program, a potential sponsoring organization must submit detailed information on its organization's management and administrative structure. This is to demonstrate compliance with the Summer Food Service Program's performance standards of viability, capability, and accountability. The management plan must demonstrate to the state agency that the organization is appropriately staffed, can provide adequate training and monitoring, can demonstrate compliance with meal service, record keeping, and other requirements, provide meals that meet the meal pattern, that they have the ability to meet state and local health and sanitation requirements, can comply with the civil rights requirements, maintain complete and appropriate records on file, and file claims for reimbursement only for eligible meals. Child Nutrition Program Performance Standards are commonly referred to as VCA. This is to establish proof of financial viability, maintain adequate administrative capability, and have internal controls for program accountability. Standalone SFSP sponsors are required to complete a management plan. School food authorities in good standing in the National School Lunch Program or Breakfast Program or institutions in good standing with the Child and Adult Care Food Program are exempt from completing a management plan for the SFSP. Performance Standard 1. The sponsor must be financially viable. To demonstrate financial viability and financial management, the management plan will include a description on the community's need for summer meals in the sponsor's outreach strategy, an explanation on how the sponsor's participation will help ensure that program benefits are delivered to otherwise unserved children, and describe how the sponsor plans to recruit sites that meet the federal requirements. Viability is assessed through documentation of the sponsor's financial resources and financial history. This must show that the sponsor has adequate sources of funds available to operate the program, pay employees and suppliers if there are any periods of temporary interruption of program payments, and be able to pay debts if fiscal claims are assessed against the sponsor. The sponsor should provide audit documents, financial statements, and other documentation to demonstrate this viability. And ensure that all costs in the sponsor's budget are necessary, reasonable, allowable, and appropriately documented. The organization should have policies and procedures for purchasing and accounting, including a purchasing code of conduct, income and expense accounting procedures, a method of processing invoices, and procedures for approving SFSP expenditures that are allowable. Interruption and recovery of funds. The sponsoring organization should have adequate revenue streams to continue operating the SFSP if there was any temporary interruption of the SFSP reimbursement payments. In addition, if an overclaim of SFSP funds ever occurred, the sponsor should be able to repay the state agency. A viable plan for service. The sponsor must demonstrate that the geographic area and potential participants show a need for the service and show that the sponsor is willing to outreach and educate the community and have a plan for growth if the community's need is not met. Performance Standard 2, Administrative Capability. Current or proposed management practices must ensure that the program operations will meet the SFSP requirements. You must have an adequate number of qualified staff to ensure that the operation of the program is adherent and have written policies and procedures that assign program responsibilities to ensure compliance. You must have an adequate number of qualified staff to run the SFSP. Multiple site sponsors have the appropriate ratios of monitors and staff to facilitate. You must have written policies and organizational bylaws to ensure that staff can be held accountable. An organizational chart shows reporting relationships between staff 
and job descriptions that are outlined with job duties in the SFSP and the organization as a whole. The organization's structure and board of directors is reviewed for conflict of interest in the management plan. The management plan asks, are there bylaws to govern the board? Are any board members compensated or reimbursed for serving on the board? And how much involvement would or does the board have with the SFSP? Again, for administrative capability, the organization should have written policies and procedures for standards of hiring qualified staff, assigning program responsibilities to staff, ensuring civil rights requirements are met, and additional policies to ensure program compliance. Performance standard three, program accountability. The sponsor must have internal controls and other management systems in place to ensure fiscal accountability and operation of the program. To demonstrate program accountability, the sponsor must have written operational policies and financial controls that will ensure all funds and property received and incurred are handled with fiscal integrity and accountability, claims will be processed accurately and in a timely manner, funds and property are properly safeguarded and used, expenses incurred for authorization of program purposes, and system and safeguards and controls in place to prevent and detect improper financial activities by employees. Maintain appropriate records to document compliance with the program's requirements, including budgets, approved budget amendments, and accounting records, management plans, and site operations. Oversight and monitoring of the program. In your management plan, you must prove that you have adequate oversight of your programs. You must have written financial management procedures, be able to maintain all required SFSP records, provide training to staff and meet all meal pattern and service requirements. Your accountability procedures would include a code of conduct for purchasing and procuring goods, a system for processing invoices and payments, an authorization approval for SFSP expenses, and ensuring fiscal accountability, preventing and detecting fraud and waste and abuse. Internal controls for program accountability. The Summer Food Service Program must have a separate bank account or account code or ledger to keep the funds separate from the organization's general fund. The documentation must be maintained for all SFSP expenditures. All expenditures must be reasonable, necessary, and allocatable. And expenses are regularly compared to the submitted SFSP budget. The sponsor must be able to maintain record of all things paid for from the SFSP budget. This includes itemized receipts, bank records, payroll and timesheets, travel records, tax, re tax returns, and any other invoices. In addition to the sponsor management plan, you must also submit a budget and agreement, a general application. If you are a camp, you must sign a free meal policy statement and submit a single audit report if you receive additional federal funds in excess of $750,000. This concludes our training for the sponsor management plan in the Summer Food Service Program. If you have any questions, please reach out to the Child Nutrition Office. More information about the Maine Department of Education can be found online. Thank you for joining.